Hello guys, what is up? It's Zebrafy here coming at you all with another video. I know it's been like three or four months since I've uploaded, but I'm gonna try to start pushing out really good content again. So anyways, this is gonna be a Windows optimization video. I'll probably have another one of these coming out in about a month or so. That'll go over everything, a bunch of new tweaks as well, but this one's gonna have a bunch of new tweaks. So make sure you guys stick around and watch the whole video. And yeah, let's get right into it. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do before we do any of the tweaks is uh, just in case something does go wrong, in case your PC starts to lack a bit of performance or goes downhill after this, uh, we're all, always going to want to create a restore point just to make sure in case so you can go back at any time. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go to the bottom left search bar, type in create and you should just see create a restore point right here this is the one you want to look for that my mouse is over and once you are in here you're just going to want to make sure that protection is on at least at least put it on your main drive i'd recommend and create a restore point right now for the drives that have system protection turned on then you just click create uh you can name it whatever you want and then you just hit create and that'll make a restore point just in case anything does go wrong you can always go back to what you had before you started this these tweaks and yeah guys now we can go ahead and get started so what you're going to want to do first this is something that i don't really see many people talk about but a lot of you guys will have programs just sitting on your computer that you don't even know what they are and that's okay for a lot of them so basically, I'm going to show you guys which programs you do need installed and then which ones you can install if you don't need them. So what you're going to want to do is head into control panel right here. Just type in CON and it should come up like that. Go into this. And once you're in here, you're going to want to head over to programs. You're going to want to head to programs and features. Now this is going to bring up a big list of everything that you have installed. So basically what I'm going to recommend here is you guys are probably familiar with a lot of these programs because you've installed them yourself. So like any of your games that you have installed or any softwares you have installed, but there's probably also going to be a lot of stuff that you don't need. Like, um, I might not really have anything because I've already uninstalled a lot, but let's just say that like, you know, there, I was scrolling down and there's something that I know I don't need. Like if there's a game you don't play or if there's some random program on here that you have that you have no clue what it is. So I just recommend taking a minute or two to just scroll through these and look through them and be like, oh, maybe I don't really need that. I can uninstall it because um, one, these are taking up space on your computer, which probably isn't really the biggest issue for you guys. But if you do have a short amount of space left or small amount of space left, then you're probably going to want to uninstall some stuff. But, um, there could be some viruses or malware in here too. Probably not, but I just recommend to clean this up because a lot of the times these applications are just going to be running in your tray down in the bottom right. And they're just open on your computer all the time you're using it and you don't even know it. And they're taking up your performance and you're getting less FPS because of this. So, um, all the stuff that you do need though, I can say anything like java or your bluetooth or any of your drivers like if you've got real tech audio drivers or internet drivers don't uninstall those uh the apple if you have an iphone that you plug into your computer you will automatically have these things on your computer so don't worry about it or there may be another one called like bonjour that's just apple softwares don't really worry about it it's not doing anything harmful to your computer and you can't really get rid of it if you charge your phone on your computer um uh, all of these Microsoft Visual things, don't uninstall those because they're kind of important. They're, they'll reinstall themselves, but just you don't need to uninstall those. And uh, this network framework thing, if you have that, don't uninstall it. And also anything that says NVIDIA, so like these three NVIDIA things, if you have anything that says NVIDIA or AMD software, don't uninstall that. And yeah, now... Once you uninstall some of your programs, that should already speed it up if you've got a lot of stuff to uninstall. Um, another thing I'd recommend is right-click the taskbar and head over to Task Manager. Once you're in Task Manager, you guys are probably all familiar with this, but we're going to head over to Startup, the Startup tab at the top. And in here, there's going to be a lot of stuff that 
is probably enabled for you guys unless you've already done this but i just recommend going through and disabling every single thing in here unless you know that you need it like maybe you've got something that you really want to turn on but this is gonna very highly increase your um startup times so your pc will boot up quite a bit faster if you have everything disabled and if you do have stuff enabled like let's say let's say i had like uh spotify enabled to open every time i start up well i'm not going to be listening to music the whole time I'm, I'm on my pc but spotify is just going to be open by default which is not really a problem but it just it'll slow your computer down bit by bit if you have more stuff enabled so i literally have every single thing disabled because i don't need any of it but yeah all right now we're gonna take a look at the nvidia drivers um so a lot of you guys are probably just using this application called geforce experience which geforce experience is fine it's a really good application for keeping you up to date but um there are better drivers now that geforce experience won't download you for you because there's a newer version but the newest version of the drivers are actually not the greatest so we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to uh get the new drivers or get the best drivers optimized for you so again in here it's gonna tell me that i need to download this or it's going to tell me to download this, but I'm actually on version 457.30, which is currently the best, most optimal driver. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called NV Skimmer, which will make the NVIDIA driver a little bit better than it already is. So we're going to head over to the NVIDIA website first and just go to NVIDIA.com. And once you're here, head down to GeForce Drivers. Or if you actually, sorry, I should have mentioned this earlier, but if you have a, if you have an AMD graphics card, then this part won't apply to you because this is for NVIDIA drivers only. But uh, go to GeForce Drivers and go to Manual Driver Search right here. So then you're just going to put in exactly what, G4, what driver you have. So I have an RTX 30 series. I'm going to put that in. And I have 3070, so then download type game ready driver. So this should all be good. Whatever you put in here, it should look something like this. And start search. Now it's gonna pull up the newest drivers for you down here. So we're gonna see all these ones. And you're just gonna wanna keep scrolling down until you see driver version 457.30. Now this will more than likely change in the near future. Uh, which one you will download but uh, this is currently as of the time I'm making this video on February 2nd 2021 no February 5th 2021 I'm tripping bro but uh, this is currently the best driver you could download so you're just gonna want to hit get download and download now and um, uh, once you download this it's going to be a little bit of a big download but once you download this you are going to want to not just download it like you normally would we're going to use an application called nv skimmer which i will leave a uh, link to the pack that i'm using in the description so you guys can follow along and do all these optimizations so we're going to use the deep below driver we're going to use nv slimmer right here which we're just going to run the .exe folder or the .exe file in here and that's going to open up this and it should drop it should open up your file explorer right here and go to your downloads folder that's more than likely where your driver is going to be that we just installed and hit open so now it's loading the driver package right here it's scanning all the driver files and then I'm going to show you guys how to uh, debloat it. So basically, what this is going to do is everything that NVIDIA installs with your driver, uh, not all of it is necessary. 
to give you the best performance. So you're just going to click OK on this if that pops up. And all you want checked is install. You just want the required ones checked. You can uncheck PhysX. You don't need that. You don't need any of this stuff. So literally just check these two boxes right here and click apply yes and install driver yes so now it's just going to open this up and it's just going to go through like you would normally install your driver hit agree and continue and you're going to want to click custom next and you can do a clean installation if you want uh i'm going to not do a clean installation because i already had the driver installed previously so it's fine but if you had an older or a newer version of a driver i'd recommend a clean installation all right so once you guys finish with that process i had to pause my thing because it would have crashed my streaming software when it reinstalled the driver but uh now we can head back into the folder and uh, we've installed the NVIDIA drivers already. We've uninstalled the current driver, so now we are good with that. Now we're going to use something called NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which I'll also leave in the pack. Now what you want to do with NVIDIA Profile Inspector is you want to open it up and head to Import, Import Profiles. And then you'll see this pack that I've left in the description. This will also be part of it over here. So you should just see this right now. <clears throat> and then when you hit import, select this fps.nip folder, hit open, profiles imported, hit apply. And after that, you can just exit out, done with that part. Alright, so another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove your or delete your temporary files. So I'm just going to, you're just going to want to hit Windows plus R key at the same time. Type in percent temp percent. And it's going to pull up all this stuff. And you're just going to want to hold control plus A at the same time. Right click, delete. And you're going to want to hit continue. And it's just going to delete all this stuff. You don't really need this stuff though, so it's fine. Now, you can do skip on whatever doesn't work. There's going to be some stuff left, which is fine. You're going to want to hold Windows plus R again. And you're just going to want to type temp without putting the percents. Hit OK. Then Control A again. Right click. Delete. Continue. And you can skip these again. And there we go. We just have these two left, which is fine. Um, another thing I'd recommend doing is just updating Windows. It's always good to do that. Uh, it's not always the greatest, but you do usually want to be in the latest version because you kind of have to, to be able to get all the new settings and everything that comes out. Uh, you don't really have to download the optional stuff, but you can if you really want to. Just make sure you check, and if there is anything, just download it. Uh... Now we're going to head over to disk cleanup. Now you're going to want to just select a drive. I'd recommend just selecting your main drive or whatever you have most of your stuff installed on. So I'm going to select my C drive and hit OK. Now I'm just going to select every single item in here and click OK. Delete files. And if anything like this comes up, you can just hit continue. And yeah, that just deleted all your uh, temporary files, which is fine. Um, another thing I'd recommend doing is a virus scan. If your computer is kind of slow, you could try running with malware bytes, which I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'm not going to do one because it's uh, I, I've done it in my past videos. If you guys want to know, there's a video I did called Top 5 Applications to uh, Speed Up Your Computer. You could watch that. I did a full showcase of it in there. Um... So now we're going to go through and disable hardware acceleration. So um, I'm just going to show an example of this on Discord. So you're going to want to open up Discord. 
and once you're in discord you're just going to want to head over to user settings now once you're in user settings you're just going to want to head down to the appearance tab and you're going to want to scroll all the way down to these settings uh, just make sure you undo hardware acceleration make sure that's turned off and that's all we have to do in discord uh, that's just basically going to mean that it'll just make it so that if you have discord on a second monitor or you have discord running in the background it won't make your game lag as much um, now we're going to want to open up the browser and you're going to want to head into the settings in the top right or these three dots and go to settings and go all the way down to system or there may be an appearance tab it's not going to be the same in every browser but use hardware acceleration when available you just want that disabled and also maybe if you use spotify you can also disable it in spotify if you go to settings and once you're in settings show advanced settings enable hardware acceleration you just want to uncheck that and it'll ask you to restart it you can restart it that's fine and yeah so that's it for spotify and disabling hardware acceleration there may be some other applications you use that you can disable that in but it'll be pretty helpful um now we're going to check out mouse settings so once you're in mouse settings right here uh you're going to want to go to additional mouse options and you're just going to want to leave this on default most likely or you could copy what i have here um go to pointers now what i'd recommend is having your normal select if you want this cursor that i have that's like a uh like you see like the cross or the plus sign if you want it like this uh go to browse and scroll all the way down until you see these crosses you can just choose these they're all a little bit different i'd recommend using this like you can see a preview of them at the bottom left i'd recommend using this middle one cross il cur or cross underscore il that one's pretty good it's exactly the one i'm using right now actually but uh you just click open and then it'll change it to that for your normal select you can change the other ones if you want but i'd recommend just changing that one and then you can hit okay actually don't hit okay but i'm gonna go back in there i'm gonna go to pointer options you're just gonna want to uncheck enhance pointer precision that is usually checked by default in windows uncheck advanced enhance pointer precision hit apply uh, that enables mouse acceleration, which we don't want. And that's it for mouse settings. Now we can go out of there. Um, now we're going to want to turn off notifications. So just go to the home of your window settings. And go over to system. Notifications and actions. Just turn off. Get notifications from other apps, from apps and other senders. Just turn everything off in here. And now we're going to turn off location services. So the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to go to the bottom and search up location, privacy settings. And you're just going to want to uncheck allow apps to access your location. Or you just want to click change on this right here and turn it off. And that's it. Now we're going to want to type in game bar. Uh, game bar controller settings or enable xbox game bar we're just going to want to if you're in your window settings you can find this by going to gaming and once you're in here you're just going to want to disable this uh, game mode you can try this on or off i'd recommend it off for most people but i mean it really depends this one you could it could go either way uh captures don't have to worry about that and xbox game bar you just want off all right now in game overlay is another thing you guys are probably using that you're not even aware about you're going to want to go to your user settings and scroll down to overlay just 
turn this off. It'll give you less input delay and more performance. Next, we're going to go to the search bar again. And we're going to type in performance. And you should see this adjust the performance and perf the appearance and performance of Windows. Just click on that real quick. And you should see all this. You're going to want to click custom. And just check those show thumbnails instead of icons and smooths edge of screen fonts. Everything else unchecked. Just like so. And then hit apply. Okay. And that's all for there. Now we're going to edit the power plan real quick. We're just going to go to, we're just going to type power in the bottom left. And you should see this edit power plan. So, uh, these are just preference or whatever. I'd recommend putting them on never. If you don't want your PC to turn off or whatever, go to sleep. Uh, then you're going to want to click change advanced power settings. Um, so I recommend high performance. Uh, so what you're going to want to do when you're on the high performance power plan, turn off disk after you want to type zero in this box. And that's good for that part. Now here, we're going to want to have maximum performance. Slideshow available. Wireless adapter settings. Maximum performance. Sleep after. Uh, you can just make sure you have allow wake timers enabled. And other than that, that's really preference. USB settings enabled. Intel graphics settings you want on maximum performance. Or maybe you have AMD, so that won't pop up. Uh, PCI Express, you want power management, you want this off, you don't want power savings. Uh, and now here, uh, so you want the minimum and the maximum, I'm just going to set the minimum to 5% because that's pretty much default, and the maximum to 100. And make sure your cooling policy is active because you don't want your PC overheating because your cooling isn't working, but, uh, so I'd recommend 5% and 100%. And make sure that's active. Display, turn off display after. That's preference again. And these right here, when sharing media, prevent idling to sleep. Is what I'd recommend. Here you want playback performance bias. And here you want optimize video quality. Now you can just click apply. Okay. And that is all for that part. Now we're going to want to go back to power options, this tab at the top that I just clicked on. And you're going to want to select high performance. And yeah, that is pretty much all for the power plan part. Now we're just going to take a look at some uh, small tweaks to our internet. So we're getting some lower ping. Uh, you're going to want to type in control panel again. Head into here, control panel. Go to... Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, click on whatever you have here, it may be Ethernet, it may be Wi-Fi, depending on what you have. Uh, before we start this, your settings are most likely going to be different from mine because we probably won't have the same exact internet adapter and the same exact motherboard, etc. So if you have a setting different than me or you don't have a setting I have, don't worry. Uh, just leave it alone or if you think it's important, you could ask me in the comments and I'll let you know. Uh, click on properties once you're in here. So sorry. So you should click on whatever this blue is here Your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi whatever your main is using. Uh, so just click on that click on properties Click on configure Actually before you click on configure uh, All of this stuff should be unchecked except for internet protocol version 4 So just check internet protocol version 4 uncheck everything else then hit configure and click yes if that popped up so first what we're going to want to do is head to power management uncheck both these boxes if they're checked then head to advanced uh so i'm just gonna have you guys copy these real quick these are my internet adapter settings so arp offload disabled you could also have this disabled just leave whatever this is on default because this is a new setting uh, enable pme enabled energy efficient ethernet off Flow control disabled. Leave this on auto detect. Interrupt moderation disabled. Off. Anything that says offload, you can assume that you disabled it. Uh, jumbo packet also disabled. So these offloads disabled. Leave this on default, not present. Disabled. 
uh, your RSS queues, you're going to want to set this to whatever the highest number you can put is. For some of you guys, it's going to be two. For some, it'll be four. Some of you guys may have eight. Uh, just whatever the highest number is, is the best. Uh, NS offload disabled. Um, okay, so this one, you can literally, you can experiment with a little bit. If you're getting uh, a lot of packet loss, you could try enabling packet priority. But otherwise, I would recommend keeping it disabled. For both disabled uh receive buffers you're gonna want to set this the highest you can i just did 1024 because that's the highest selective suspend disabled uh leave this at default speed and duplex uh here's another important setting you're gonna want to set whatever the highest number is so mine's 2.5 gigabytes per second full duplex so whatever the highest number is and then full duplex is what you're gonna want to choose uh, if you're not sure about this, you could leave it on auto negotiation. Uh, it'll probably be pretty much the same as choosing it manually. But uh, some people, uh, if it if your internet stops working when you set it to the highest, uh, do the second highest, and that'll fix it. Um, all these offloads you can also have disabled. Transmit buffers. Uh, do whatever that you did for receive buffers. So I had a thousand twenty four. So I'm also going to put a thousand twenty four here. Um, these offloads should be disabled as well. Wait for link off. And you just want all these disabled. All these wake-ons you want disabled. And now you can hit OK. And close. That's it for the internet. Alright, so now I just wanted to head into a game real quick to show you guys some good settings for uh, the best performance and FPS when you're playing... I'm just going to use Fortnite as an example. Obviously, there's a lot of other games that people are playing nowadays, like Call of Duty and stuff. But uh, it's a pretty similar concept across all games. So, getting into the settings. Uh, so, first off, I'm going to recommend using full screen. I just have it on windowed because I... For the video, so it doesn't mess up the recording. Um, I'd recommend capping your FPS around wherever your monitor is. If you have a 144 hertz, I'd recommend capping at 160 or 165, maybe 180. Uh, but if you have a 240, I'd recommend capping at 240. Um, or 360, but I have mine capped at 240 because I don't really want to go all the way up to 360 because I don't need that extra 120 FPS. Um... Brightness, that's preference. I'd recommend 100. Um, colorblind, also preference. Um, I'm currently using performance mode because personally, I feel like performance mode feels really responsive and I get a good consistent amount of FPS most of the time. Um, but if you do use performance mode, I'd recommend these settings here, near and low. Uh, you can maybe put textures up to high if you have a better graphics card, but... Um, I'm just going to keep mine on low because that seems to work well for me. Uh, V-Sync, you always want to have this off. Everyone knows that. Um, these are also show FPS. I have it on, but you don't have to turn that on. Um, if you don't use performance mode, then I'm going to recommend having multi threader rendering on, off, off. Uh, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, you can test that out and see if you really notice a difference. Um, there is a difference, but... It's going to sacrifice a bit of FPS uh, if you do use that. So I usually keep it off depending on the game, but sometimes I'll turn it on if I want more better if I'm having some bad input delay. Uh, DLSS, I'm going to recommend having this off as well, but you can experiment with that if you want. Personally, I felt like when I did that, I got a lot of stuttering and my game didn't feel very good to play when I had DLSS on performance mode. But... um. All these settings I'd recommend having on low or off, like every single quality setting. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the Fortnite settings. Um, now that we've gone over the Fortnite settings and everything, guys, I'm pretty sure that that is going to help you out quite a bit. If it doesn't, let me know, or if there's something I've missed in here, or if you still have questions, let me know. But, um...